All right, so in this lesson and the exercise that goes with it, the questions in the exercise are, are similar to these ones. They're a little bit harder than the ones in the first exercise. And let's get started. So 7 plus 5 is 12. Put down the 2 and carry the 1. 2 plus 6 plus 1 is 9. And then 3 plus 2 is 5. So 367 plus 225 equals 592. The subtraction, 3 minus 5, you can't do it. So you have to borrow one from that 7. That becomes a 6. Put the one here. And now 13 minus 5 is 8. And then 6 minus 2 is 4. So 73 minus 25 is 48. 356 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, put down the 1 and carry the 1, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And that's how you do those ones. Always remember that you're working right to left when you're doing the multiplies and you always, or you only add these carries after you've multiplied the number beneath them by this number. How many twos in 92? Remember to work from left to right, one number at a time. How many twos in 9? And there's 4 with one left over. Put that one in front of the next number and now it looks like a 12 and you go how many twos in 12 and the answer is 6. And that's how you do the division ones. So key thing here is make sure you read this as the number it looks like and don't add the two numbers together. So it's always what it looks like. And the only time you add stuff is when you actually put it ab above the column like this in this type of sum and this type of sum. And here again, the numbers in front of it, it's what it looks like. And that's why I do my carries differently when I'm adding and multiplying so that it looks different to what I'm doing when I'm subtracting and doing divisions. So pretty key thing, but if you do it this way, you'll find that uh, you make less mistakes, is what I'm trying to say. So that's about it for this lesson. Download the exercise, have a go at the top five in each box today, and then correct them, see how you go, and then make sure you finish the bottom five in each box sometime before the next lesson comes. So tomorrow would be a good time to do that. If you want to do all of them today, that's fine. Uh, it works best if you just do five of each type on one day and then do the other five of each type on another day. It tends to work better that way. Anyway, I'll see you in the next lesson.